All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, so here I am today to show you a live stream of the 2022 Halloween update for Scum because I, I always love the uh, updates they do for the holidays. They're usually a ton of fun. And um, yeah, I thought we'd just check it out together on live stream and I can edit a video later out of it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, how's it going, Darth? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, we're just going to check out this update really quick. So uh, again, like it's not really super structured video. I'm just going to go check out what it has to offer. First things first, we were already at a trader when I logged in. So we're going to go take a look at um, the stuff they added to the trader. And basically, according to the patch notes, they added a barber and uh, they made it so you can't really edit your hair and uh, like makeup and stuff like that unless you go to the barber to do it. So, whoa. What the hell was that? That has got to be part of the Halloween update. Did you guys hear that? What the hell was that? All right, let's keep going. Um, yeah, just immediately noticed that that sounded psychotic. And again, like I said, it's not very structured. We're just going to check things out as we go. What was that sound? That was not a boar. That was not a boar. That was not a bear. I've never heard that before in Scum. That's, uh, that's something special. All right, first things first. Like I said, we're going to go check out the, um, we're going to go check out the, uh, barber. Oh, yeah, there's a barber right here. Barbershop. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check out the prices and stuff like that. And again, I'm going into this blind. I haven't watched any other videos on it or anything, so I literally just bag, updated. All you need to do is ask. Okay, I can't tell what, what accent that is, but, uh, definitely, like, a stereotypical barber that you might see in certain movies and shows and stuff. Um, nice little barbershop, nice and clean, uh, got some posters up on the wall, it'd be cool if we could actually get these haircuts, that's pretty funny, and I believe these are pictures of the actual scum dibs themselves, that's funny, got that, uh, Jim Carrey haircut from, uh, what is it, Pet Detective or Ace Ventura, I think it was, what, When Nature Calls, that one right there, I think that's that, this looks familiar, don't know what it's from, but, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good time, alright, let's see what else we got over here. Yeah, just cut out some stuff, some books on the table. I, I just love the amount of detail they put into these little new additions of buildings and stuff like that. So uh, let me put my fist down. I'm not going to kick his ass or anything. So let's see. Let's go. Not late this time. Oh, hey, cat. Yeah, sorry. I, I took a day off. I'm stressed out. I'm crazy. We're just doing review day. So uh, I'm just catching up on work and reviewing uh, just for school. How are you doing today, cat? Haircut, senior cut, shave, beard trim, color, massage. I don't think all of that is, is uh, actually offered, but we're going to take a look. All right, let's trade with him services and it has a plastic surgery i think they should probably change that to maybe like a trimmer or something like that because i don't know if i want to go to a barber and get my face sliced up we'll see oh yeah there we go yeah haircut okay that makes more sense seven grand much better than the price tag of say uh getting uh, plastic surgery which is like what seventy five thousand dollars in scum depending on your server settings so we're gonna see what that's like no, I meant I'm not late to the stream. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, well, welcome. It's always a good time having you, Cat. We need a computer for you so we can play together again. My wife and uh, I miss playing with you. It's a good time. Plus, we need somebody to help us wrangle in Crispy. And you're very good at that. <laughs> All right. So, oh, no. I hope everything's going good for you either way. Oh, what the hell? That's not good. Alright, give me one second. We're just gonna continue. Hey, at least we got a good thumbnail right here. We can see what uh, the uh, the actual update looks like. One of your kidneys hurt. What? Did something happen? Did you get injured? It's just standard scum stuff, if I'm gonna be honest. It's, it always happens with updates. There's gonna be a hotfix tomorrow, hopefully. It's like every update, there's a connection issue for whatever reason. I hope nothing, like, happened to your kidneys. I hope you're doing okay. Going up, Oh, yeah, I'm going to go up to the scary cabin. I'm going to take a look at the uh, barbershop. I'm going to take a look at uh, the new stuff they added up there. I'm going to take a look at the blood moon. I'm going to take a look at everything they added in the update. And what the hell is happening right now? Uh, stupid connection issue. Sorry about this, guys. It happens. Not the first time. Oh, no. Well, let me know, Cat, off stream sometime. Tell me how it's going. I mean, because you're one of the, definitely one of my friends, so. <sighs> definitely let me know how. Okay, well, I can't connect in multiplayer, so we're going to go into single player and do this because this is incredibly stupid. So we're just going to go into the character I was using for my solo streams. It's unfortunate. Um, no, nah, it shouldn't be a file verify issue. It's a connection issue because the game's not crashing. It's just disconnecting me from the server. 
So let's uh, go take a look at um, it from my single player, uh, which is unfortunate. I had it like all set up, but uh, we're going to just teleport. We're going to just abuse our admin commands in single player so we can get this going. God, you gotta love technology. You gotta love updates, and you gotta love early access. It's never a uh, smooth. Uh, it's never a smooth sailing. But uh, hey, what can you what can you do about it? Yeah, file verify will probably take me like an hour. I kind of wanna. I did update the server. The server is uh, actually usually the servers are updated before the um, updates are released to clients. So typically, like the morning of the update, the servers are updated, and then they release the update for the players um, after that fact. All right, so I'm gonna take us to what airfield are we at? Uh, what trader are we at? I, I I guess it doesn't matter. We're just gonna go to the A zero because uh, I spent a lot of my time in A zero. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. It's just unfortunate. Hopefully they fix the connection issues because they've been having a lot of them with the most recent updates, like with point seven five and all that. We're just gonna spawn us some food too because uh, I mean I was playing survival and I don't want to be starving to death while we're making this video. <laughs> Um, we'll just spawn, um, some stew, we'll eat that, and then we'll spawn us a canteen and we'll eat that. Sorry, guys. Um, this is actually a perfect, um, t chance to show you, I guess, one of the new items they added to the game, which is, um, a new axe. I don't know what it's called. Um, let's see. Axe. Uh, it should have a name. Yep, uh, Trainor's Axe. Uh, so we're going to spawn Trainor's Axe. We'll take a look at it. So basically, Trainor is a creator in the scum community that is actual blacksmith in real life. And what they did was they um, created some axes and sent them up to the Game Fires community, which I think is super cool. Yeah, technology's so grand. Drink a lot of cranberry juices. It's actually toxic. All right, well, you're going to have to tell me off stream what's going on, Cat. That's worrisome. But yeah, he uh, sent this uh, axe to the scum devs or, and sent a couple of things to them that he made. And this is uh, one of those things. This is definitely one of those things that uh, they made. So let's go to first person and take a look at it. Uh, let's try and get a better lighting. Uh, it's not <laughs> it's not the best right now. But yeah, look at this. It's got that little uh, maker's mark, which is that little hand right there. That's super cool. It's got like this nice long handle. You can see it's a full tang like uh, axe. It, like the metal goes all the way down the hill. This is super cool. Extremely durable. Um, this thing would mess people up. It looks like it's got a uh, strap cutter at the top. This thing would be badass. It's like it's a hatchet. It's really like a little tomahawk, which is awesome. I love tomahawk stuff like that. I love like blades. Um, when I joined the Marine Corps, one of my neighbors, um, one of like our family friends growing up, actually made me a tomahawk when I graduated boot camp, and I love that thing. And I actually need to go pick it up from my uh, family house. So we'll see. Gosh, uh, I don't have my uh, inventory organized either because, again, this was my survival, so bear with me. This is super cool, though. I, I think it looks awesome. I wonder if uh, throwing it works any differently from a normal axe. We'll try that out. We'll check out the haircuts. We'll check out the haunted house. We'll check out the catacombs. We're going to give everything an overview, so it might be a little bit of a lengthy stream, but I do want to check everything out that the update has to offer. And I thought streaming would be a good way for me to get it out to you guys as soon as possible because I'm not one of the, um, I guess, in-network creators that they get access to the... Uh, they get access to the update files ahead of time, like Rake it and those other guys. So I kind of have to wing it. So that's the way we're doing it like this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take this in my hands. We're going to try throwing it really quick. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if this is any different. Oh, yeah, it sticks in. That's awesome. Look at that. That is so cool. Um, I, I think the other axes do too. But like, look at this tomahawk. Let's, let's try and throw it farther and see what this does for us. Uh, it's not perfect, but it looks like it, it rotates upside down automatically and it just sticks in like that. That's kind of funny. Or maybe that's just wherever it impacts. That's super cool. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this little axe. Look how cool that is. That's super cool. It looks... And it, it, it's nice because it, it doesn't look all beat up and ratty like a lot of the items you find in Scum. It's pretty cool. So I like that a lot. And I think it's fitting with the Halloween update to get, like, a new bladed weapon. Remember last Halloween, they added, like, blood effects weapons and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. Have you contacted them to see if you can get on that list? Uh, not really. I've tried to talk to the scum devs before. I, I made a video a while kind of criticizing the uh, Danny Trejo DLC, and I'm pretty sure I upset them with that because uh, they never... They've been kind of cold in their replies to my bug reports and stuff since then, so I think, I, I think I'm going to have to let that kind of play itself out first. All right, so... 
next things next let's go take a look at uh, the barber like we were already doing before so basically with the barber they added it so you could change your haircut and you could pay to get it changed so it's not just permanent and they made it so if you want to do uh, special hairstyles and uh, makeup and stuff you can only get it done at the barber which makes a lot of sense um it adds more depth to the gameplay more realism and i think it's really cool that you can change that um all right here's a barber shop right here uh if you're in the center of the uh a zero trader it's going to be right uh over here by the uh signpost so let's go see just uh let's see just east of the signpost uh so let's go take a look and i think it's exactly the same as the other one okay well that could get annoying i think it, it again is like a caricature so i think they went a bit over the top with the stereotype of like a barber but whatever um so let's see yeah it's exactly the same as the other one i don't see any difference except this one's got like open windows right here it's cool i, I like again like like the detail I like the stuff they add little planter and stuff all right let's uh talk to him let's see what they offer us as far as the haircut goes oh see it's only five grand here i think because we've been spending a lot more money in the a0 sector our prices are going to be a little bit better here because we've been stimulating that economy our economy a little bit more so i'm going to do something that typically i wouldn't do but we are going to spawn some cash and check it out um spawn item cash oh what the hell uh, 10 value. Oh, I don't need 10. Damn. Let's just spawn. I didn't mean to do that. Let's just spawn, uh, two or let's spawn one, uh, cash value and we'll just make it 10,000. Uh, that should be more than enough money to actually check this out. All right, let's go back in. Let's talk to him. We use the service haircut and we'll go to cart and we'll go to buy. All right, and then we could change the haircut and stuff. So here, it's just all the same hairstyles it looks like, but you can actually see what they look like without lying down, which is actually pretty cool. And they said they also fixed the colors. Um, it does look cool. Yeah, I think it does look cool. Oh, you could get green now. You could get blue now. That's awesome. What color hair should we do? Cat, let me know. Uh, because the update video on the female character got me more views in that video. So it's a shame they seem to be more cold now. Yeah, I know. It really, it really did. They changed so much more. I, I like that they added a lot of detail to like the character interaction. I think it's gonna be awesome once uh, the story mode comes out. Er, yeah, let me know. I think I should go like, for Halloween probably. I'm thinking maybe purple or orange. Actually, the orange doesn't look orange. Oh, we'll go purple. That's a Halloween color because the orange doesn't look that, and the green just looks uh, blue. Oh, purple for Halloween. That's funny. You could do, uh, again, you can do the makeup and stuff, which is interesting because you could already do that, but they removed it from the character customization. So if you add that stuff now, you have to come here to buy it. So, uh, yeah. All right. We're just going to go with, wait, cancel. I didn't do that. I just want to see if they added anything else. So lipstick, eyes. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they added anything else. I don't think they added anything else, which is interesting. Um, where do I go? Why do I keep glossiness, color, lipstick? All right. Well, I think that's cool that they actually added this stuff. Um, and again, I think there were just eight, 18 hairstyles. So it's nothing completely different. That's all they added. What would be a good Halloween hairstyle? Maybe that or maybe... I don't know if any of these really speak like horror or Halloween or anything like that. It's kind of hard to say. But yeah, we'll just go with the basics. And then uh, where else do we want to go check out? That's pretty cool. It didn't add anything crazy. There's a barbershop location now. And you have to pay to modify your character's design, which is super cool. And it's separate from the plastic surgery. It's a lot cheaper. So I think when they add the male characters in, this is going to be really cool for, honestly, everybody that wants to try out all this stuff. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to continue this with a nice spoopy Halloween stuff. And what, what do we want to check out next? We could check out the Blood Moon. Or we could uh, get our way up to the haunted house. There's uh, plenty of things we could do. Another thing they said they added in the patch notes is they said that um, they added, uh, what is it, extra emotes. So I kind of want to check that out while we're here. Let's check out the extra emotes. If I could. All right. Uh, let's go to a place we can see it better. It's almost sunset, which is also kind of good because I want to see the stuff at nighttime. Let's go check it out. We'll just go right here. This is uh, a decent look at the emotes. So, uh, commands, actions. Let's see. 
Frankenstein? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> you can be Frankenstein. I mean, your legs aren't walking, but you make like a, a, a monster sound. I don't know if you guys heard that. That's actually really cool. Uh, let's go back to the actions really quick. Frankenstein. I wish you could see this because I don't think if we go into photo mode, I'll keep doing it. Yeah, photo mode, you can't enter. That's super cool, actually. I like that. Let's see what else they added. Uh, Howl, Warship, Warship. What the hell? That's spooky. You're like a cultist worshipping. Looks like you almost died. Don't like that. That's uncomfortable. Um, let's see. Uh, howl. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> so you can howl. That's that's a good uh, good addition. I don't know if they're gonna keep these or if this is just for Halloween. Probably just for Halloween. Let's check out the ghost. Probably gonna get a little boo. That's funny. It kind of also sounds like a dog in a way. I don't know. Let's see. Disco spin. I know. That's uh, the other stuff. Let's see. Frankenstein. Yeah, we saw all these. That's actually really cool. I like that. Um, oh, they added a say. So that's new. I, I guess that's kind of foreshadowing what they're going to add in a new update is say. I guess you're going to be able to say phrases and stuff. That's going to be really cool. Um, let's see what else they added. Mock not the rituals of the cult. <laughs> what is the cult of the red tractor? Is that what I'm talking about? Am I going to offend the red tractor gods, Mr. Darth? I would hate to do that. All right, let's see. So um, I'm checking out the other uh, editions of this. Okay, so the rest of it is like is the, the special POI stuff, the haunted house, and I guess a blood moon. So let's, uh, let's make our way up to the haunted house, and we'll go explore up there. So we already took a look at the axe, which is really cool. I like this little axe. Actually, what did I do with it? Did I drop it? Oh, no. Uh, I dropped the axe. Now, nah, whatever. Who cares? I'll, I'll just spawn another one. We're, 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 playing, um, we're playing god mode here today. So let me... Uh, I'm just, again, going to teleport myself all the way up into the haunted house area. I know that's kind of boring, but we're just going to do that because I don't even care. Now... Um, if you guys don't know where the Halloween house is, uh, I'll show you. I think they moved it actually. Pretty sure they moved it. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go check it out. And if you guys need to know where the uh, Halloween house is, it's up in the, uh, far north border of the map in the, uh, D1 sector. I'll, I'll show you on the map when I spawn. Okay, here we are. So I spawned at the old location of the Halloween house, and uh, yeah, it's still here, I guess. It's still here. If you want to know where it is, it's right here on the map, all the way up here. Can't miss it. Um, this is kind of cool. They've got some fog going on here. Got some snow, even though it's not raining or anything. Man, nice and spooky. Um, I don't want to freeze to death, so I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be a little cheater again. I'm gonna spawn myself some stuff in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I I just my last stream it got cut because of the server connection issues. Hopefully they fix that soon. Uh, we'll just make a pilot jacket. The pilot jacket's nice and warm. And then uh, we will, God, it's still too cold. I'm going to need some gloves. Wow. Um, wool, gloves, 101. We're going to equip that. And uh, that should be good enough. All right, let's go check it out. Uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to make it darker. We need to set the ambiance for this. Um, uh, we got some wolves. I don't know if you guys heard that. All right. <sighs> nice and spoopy. Let's go take a look. I'm going to go in first person, just set the mood. Oh my gosh, of course I need to urinate. That's the other issue with playing Scum Live, is your metabolism doesn't stop for anybody. <laughs> there should be game sound. Is there no game sound? Um, Can you guys not hear the game sound? Game audio should be there. I hate how it keeps glitching out like that. That's so frustrating. Did you Were you guys able to hear the sounds that the uh, um, character was making during like the emotes? Because I could do those again if you guys want. Oh wow, that's cool. You've got like a jack o -lan Oh wow, that's... That's new. That's gruesome. My god. They're they're going hard with this update. I guess the last one had mutilated bodies and stuff, but uh yeah. There's still no game sound. That's weird. I I don't know, man. I That's weird. Uh for me, I the game game audio is turned on and everything. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to work out this uh audio software I'm using. Uh but anyways, let's check it out. So we got the statues with the jack lantern heads. That's always a good time. We've got dead birds everywhere, which is funny because they removed birds from the game and maybe they are all dead. 
I don't see anything new here. We've got some new graves and stuff. We've got some more jack-o'-lanterns. What is that? Some nice little candles and stuff. Um, let's make our way to the right. See if we find anything new over here. Nothing crazy. Can you hear it now at least? I'll, I just restarted the audio software. I just turned it off and on. Hopefully you could hear it now. Um, oh yeah, they moved the ritual site. It's not to the right of the house anymore. It used to be over there. Now it's over here. Um, and it's a lot bigger now, actually. I, I will have to say this is a lot, uh, this is a lot scarier than it was before. Like, if I'm going to be honest. What do we have over here? We have a sacrificed pig. Then we've got several different animal skulls. It looks like we've got a, uh, a cow, a ram, another cow, or I guess like a bull, and then some more rams. Very spooky. Um, and then we have a well in the center. Oh, you hear it now? Okay, good. I don't know what the hell is causing that. It like crashes after a certain amount of time. Man, uh, should I try using one of the emotes here? See if you guys hear the emotes. Um, let's try the warship one here. Let's see what happens. Maybe something crazy happens. <laughs> No, it doesn't look like it. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Okay, no, that's definitely making a sound that wasn't there before. That's... That's cool. Okay, go to the Halloween Spooky House and do the uh, worship emote here and you get a special sound. That's that's interesting. All right, let me check the Frankenstein so you guys hear that. <laughs> it's funny. It's more or less like a zombie, but we used to do these things in the Marine Corps called Frankensteins, and basically you kick your fingers, and it reminds me of that. It's really cool. We got some more blood and another well. There's a lot of wells over here. I'm finding that interesting. They did change the outline, though, of the uh, Halloween house a lot, because if you look up, look right there, like I was showing you guys before, they added a bunch of, like, hanged bodies into the tree, which is pretty, uh, pretty gruesome. It really is. It's very macabre, but uh, yeah, there we are. Let's see what else we got over here. We got some benches. We got a little shed. That's kind of new. Nothing crazy over here. There's that torch. What is this? I don't remember this being here. It's like this little uh, urn. This little pot thing. Not sure what that's all about. We've got like a craftable torch spawn in the game. Another dead animal. Oh, whoa. Look at this. <laughs> Somebody's hands are coming up out of the out of the snow at this grave. That's, uh, that's funny. Um... We're going to have to keep an eye out and make sure that's not where the puppets are going to come from. <laughs> Alright, let's go check inside the haunted house. I'm not seeing anything crazy out here. We're going to explore a lot. I want to uh, check out most of it. And hopefully the server will be fixed by the time I'm done with this stream. Oh, what the hell? You've got like a little, little what is this called? A stockade right here and then a beheaded guy? What the hell? You don't really use stockades to behead people, do you? What? That's crazy. But that's that's a new detail. Yeah, that's definitely another brutal addition to the Halloween house. Oh, you do hear it? That's good that you guys can all hear it now. All right. That's crazy. Um, And here we've got a bone, a bucket, and a candle. All right. Let's uh, venture into the Halloween house this time. Oh, wow. Um, I don't think they changed it up too much. I think the wall texture is a little bit different. I feel like it's less messy because there were a ton of body parts around on the floor, a lot of blood splatters and stuff. That might just be because we were always playing Russian roulette in here. I couldn't tell you, but it does look a little bit different. And a lot of these stuff, have, a lot of, these, ooh. Yeah, it's always that sound. Uh, they did move the crosses around. They did change a few things up. Interesting. And they added this uh, cauldron with the pentagram on it. That's spooky. And a voodoo doll. That's new. I don't remember that being here. As well as this, like, uh, looks like an idol of some kind right here. Spooky stuff. You know, I'm religious. I'm, uh, I can be somewhat, uh, what is it? Uh, what's that? What is <laughs> paranoid, not paranoid. Um, superstitious at times. Um, when it comes to stuff that involved. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. But uh, it's, a, it's an egg game. We're all good. Got some eyeballs, got some vivisection supplies, uh, we got some chemistry, alchemy equipment, that's pretty cool. Nothing crazy, good old Bob is back, or no, this one was Bob, I don't remember what we named the other one. Hey Bob, how's it going, bud? Uh, I don't remember what we named these guys, we had names for them, but, uh, oh, that's new, I don't remember that, that's, uh, 
Yeah, that's brutal. That's really brutal. This is all the same. It's kind of rotated a little bit, but uh, we're going to do another stream. Definitely, you can expect us to be playing some Halloween games, Russian Roulette, all that stuff going on. Nothing too crazy, though. I feel like it's a lot darker in here now, and um, you can actually see outside of the windows a lot better now. There's curtains and stuff. It's, it's, it's interesting. There's actually seats you could sit in. I, I feel like there was, like, a table and more stuff going on. It's kind of hard to say. Um... Definitely going to be taking a lot of looks over here. Now, what we have to do while I'm eating <laughs> another MRE. Again, I'm just spawning this in because I was uh, the stream crashed earlier on the server, so I'm, I'm improvising. Okay, so don't hate me for using admin commands right now. Um, give me one second, guys. Uh, let's spawn the MRE stew. We'll eat another MRE stew. While we do that, we're going to have to find a place called the Catacombs. I don't know where they are, but if you check out the uh, Scum update, I'll, I'll read you what it says. It says, um, what does it say? It says, Catacombs, hey you, yes you. Do you like old adventure movies? Grow up watching Indiana Jones or The Mummy? Well, if you feel adventurous in any way, there's a surprise waiting for you at the old haunted house. I will not say any more. Not to destroy the sense of un uh, wonder. Again, it's like, always a translation issue. It's Croatian to English. So I, I don't know how that works. But let's go find out where these catacombs are. And there's got to be a secret way to get in them, I imagine. Um, maybe there's a switch some here. Maybe there's a secret door. Let's uh, let's go look either way. Um, I want to say it has something to do with these guys. Because when I did the warshipping thing, they made a sound. But we'll, we'll have to keep looking. Because there's no like interaction menu anywhere around here. If you guys got any ideas, let me know, because I am trying to find my way into these catacombs right now. And I don't want it to be spoiled by watching Ray K or one of those other guys that are, you know, in the know. I want to find it on my own. I think it'll be a lot better that way. Or we could find it together as a crew. I wanted to do this with the crew on the server, but uh, the servers are having connectivity issues with this newest update. So I'm waiting for that to be fixed. Uh, maybe this. Maybe this. Maybe there's a switch. Maybe there's something. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, I don't know where we're going, guys. Uh, if you have any ideas for where these catacombs are, shoot, because I want to find them. I want to definitely explore those. I need to make sure I have weapons and stuff, too. I don't know what we're going to see down there. Um, I definitely have puppets. And oh, I'm peeing myself. I'm peeing myself. See, that's what happens when I get, uh, <laughs> I get caught up with my stream and stuff, guys. Again, like... The connectivity issues ruined my previous one, but we'll, we'll go look. Let's see up here. I don't remember there being a trail anywhere near the haunted house. Whoa, what was that? I was just cut. I'm stupid. Let's go find something. I don't know if it's in the wall, maybe? No, probably not. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. What am I caught on? I can't walk. That's weird. Nah, I don't think it's over there. Let's keep looking. They've got to be around here somewhere. I know Kat was obsessed with the Halloween house when we brought her here the first time. She thought it was so cool. They did change it up. I kind of like the old um, house better, but I do like the... Uh, and I, I don't know, the old outside was cool too because it was more like... Uh, it seemed more like official. It seemed like more like it was like these pretty established catacombs and stuff. Now it kind of just seems like a random house in the woods, which I guess in some ways makes it a little bit creepier, but it's, it's hard to really say. Hello, Flight. Oh, hey, how's it going? Flight Beatbox. What's going on? Check the statues. I did. Um, I didn't see any switches or anything. Let me go back and check again. Again, because I didn't want to spoil it by watching other streams and stuff. Um, how are you doing, Flight? Oh, they left. It's, it's a shame. Yeah, I don't see anything going on here. Ah, oh, there we go. I knew it. Uh, I guess this one should have been obvious because this one has the uh, sword and the other ones don't. So let's, uh, let's open. Oh, that's really cool. I'm low-key let down by the catacombs. Um, yeah, I didn't expect them to be too crazy. I thought it would just be like a new POI you can explore. I didn't expect anything too much out of them. Just because, uh, it was a really short, small update. So I was like, yeah, they couldn't have added too much. But hey, a new POI is a new POI. Alright, let's go check. We already got some blood and, uh, some writing. Let's go check it out, guys. Um, I should have brought a candle or a torch in here with me. But I think we'll be all good. 
Um, we'll, we'll use this. I expected something to do inside. I agree. Something to do inside would be better. More interaction it would always be more fun. Something that actually adds depth to the gameplay. I, I totally agree with that. Otherwise, it's pretty dope. Yeah, it's super cool. They did a pretty good job. So it literally is just like these catacombs. It's just like this... Uh, um what do you call it uh, i don't remember the name of that stuff uh don't open dead inside oh yeah there's a little nod to don't dead open inside from uh the uh walking dead and you can see this one it was busted open and there's a trail of blood going this way it says death let's uh light this torch or let's light this flare really quick i wonder if we can oh yeah let's see if we can go inside can we actually go inside Oh, whoa, that was weird. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, so we can go inside. There's like a body in there. I don't think we can interact with it. And then your vision goes. That's weird. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I don't, I don't know <laughs> what's going on right there. Alright, let's uh, keep walking around. See what else we see. Maybe there's a secret to one of these we can interact with. Maybe there's like a numbered... Um, Oh, there's another one broken in right there. Interesting. I'm hearing some spooky sounds, too, and I'm not talking about my stomach. Um, I'm hearing some other spooky stuff going on, so let's check it out. Oh, yep, there's a body right there. It looks like it's a standard muscular... Oh, God, it twitched. Did you guys see that? It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, God, that twitching. That, that puppet is kicking. That's a buff one, too. My god. And then that one just says death with a smiling jack lantern. That's spooky. Um, what the hell? Did somebody explode right here? Yeah, like, somebody left their little, um... What do you call it? It's like they left their little slot over here. They crawled over here and then blew the hell up. So that's that's interesting. I've tried everything in the circle. Peeing, sitting, using worship mode, nothing works. Interesting. Yeah, I was trying the other remotes too. Uh, I did the worship emote and I heard an interesting sound. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, that was cool. Um, we got some body bags and it looks like there's another hallway over there. So let's go check out over here, see if there's anything spoopy in here. Oh God, I was not expecting that. Yeah, that is that is creepy. That does not look like a normal puppet, guys. I don't know if you guys uh, are aware, but that's not what normal puppets look like. Their eyes don't look like that usually. That's new. And this got like pointy ears and stuff this is like a nosferatu like vampire type thing going on right here that's creepy and my torch went out um over here we've got some uh it looks like body bags a vampire's puppet yeah that's what it looks like that's crazy um i feel like i'm in vhs or like quarantine <laughs> that's because i was a kid when those movies came out and they scared the shit out of me let me uh let me spawn a torch really quick um, because I just want to keep, I, I want to, I, I like the vibe I'm getting from the night vision, but I want to actually see what this stuff looks like, um, in more natural light. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, much better, much, much better. We can see everything quite good now. Um, all right. Yeah. So we got the Jack Lantern, got the body bags, nothing special other than those. Let's get a better look at the Nosferatu. Yeah. This puppet has different eyes. And, uh, yeah, it looks like a vampire-ized puppet. That's that's really creepy. And they look larger than normal puppets, too. I don't know if that's just the field of view or something, but they definitely look different. So let's keep looking. Uh, we got some more skulls and stuff. Is there anything up there? No, nope, nothing in that one. We've got some coffins over here. It's, it's so wild. Let's see. Uh, can't interact with the coffins. No. Okay. Well, we've got, like, a summoning circle over there. For you fans of Phasmophobia and, I guess, the occult. I'm not a huge fan of the spoopy stuff like that, but let's check it out. Yeah, we got another twitching puppet over here. Oh, God. Can this guy wake up? Uh, I don't want to risk that. Um, do I not have any more 45? Damn it, I don't. I have 7.62. Or Oh, yeah, I got my Mosin. Let's, let's use my Mosin. Just to stay on the safe side. Let's see. Okay, we've got a misfire, misfire. There's a Bombi, for sure. We've got a suicide puppet right there. Just try to know. Oh man, that was loud as hell. I need to make sure I have headphones. Maybe this is where the suicide puppets come from. Maybe they do some sort of ritual on them. Because the suicide puppets, I don't think are actually puppets. Because they talk, and they move around autonomously, and they giggle and talk to themselves. So I don't know if the suicide puppets are actually dead. 
like the other puppets. Let's just urinate really quick to keep it from bothering us. Just try to end now. Yeah, it doesn't explode. That scared the crap out of me because I, I looked at it and then I was like, oh wait, no, it's a suicide puppet. That's funny. Um, let's keep going. This definitely goes deeper. Uh, then I want to check out the Blood Moon once we get to the top. Hopefully it's uh, completely not, uh, dark outside so we can actually check that stuff out. And then we'll go over the bug fixes and the uh, quality of life additions and stuff they added to the game. Um, yeah, don't like that. I am, again, not a huge fan of the occult and stuff like that. That's kind of spoopy, but let's go see. Where, where's my torch? Did I not pick it up? What the hell? Oh, I put it down to P. That's right. Let's uh, go see. Alarm notification. Front door. One second. Something was detected at my front door. Oh, God. That's, that's, uh. Oh, it's just someone blowing the tree around. Okay. Yeah. No big deal. No big deal um i are these cobwebs i think yeah these are definitely supposed to be cobwebs you can see from like that little pattern interesting um that's actually super cool never seen and i think we can destroy them can we oh yeah you can destroy them with a torch oh no you can't they just got blacked out all right let's uh keep going i'm, I'm afraid they, they added some surprises in here so let's just keep checking oh oh did you hear that it's like a gurgling hissing sound Welcome to the stream, guys. We're just checking out this update uh, live. Oh, that's interesting. Like a sacrificial altar. A uh, bunch of bodies, a bunch more candles. And I can't tell if there's anything else over there. Let's uh, see what's left side here really quick. That goes up. All right, let's check the door, and then we'll go up. Yeah, there's that sound again. What the hell is that? Can we Can we pick this lock? Can we... I don't think we can go in there, guys. I think it's just uh, something you could look into. I think I could come in as a drone and no clip in. Oh, there's bats! Look at that. There's a bunch of bats in there. Um, you see that? That's actually pretty cool. I like that. I think bats would be a really neat addition to the actual game. You could see them flying around at night. They, they, add, a, they kinda add a lot. I've tried picking, shooting, and axing it. Yeah. Um, did you try using the new special axe? I know, they are. They're cool. Cool little bats flying around in there. Yeah, so again, it's just like the skulls, the sacrificial altar, this like um, interesting, uh, again, idol over there. Nothing too crazy. I think the bats are really cool, though. They they, they look really realistic. I used to go to the Carlsbad Caverns growing up, and uh, I, I think bats are super cool. I always have. Abandoned Destroyer. So strange how to get in. My crew gave up after almost one hour in the area. That's interesting. Yeah, I've been wanting... I, I want to try to get in with that stuff. There's got to be more to these secrets that they added with the update than that. Because they said... Uh, they don't want to spoil anything, and so far it's been kind of lackluster. We'll see. Yeah, going drone mode right now to see if there's anything back there. Hey, if you find anything, just say you, you found something, but don't spoil it for us, all right? Because I want to try that out if that's true. I, I want to go into drone mode later and uh, kind of check it out. So let's uh, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper into the... Uh... Can we not go deeper? Oh, we can. We can. I'm just an idiot, and I was getting uh, caught on the uh, corner. Let's keep going. God, you gotta explore the catacombs with a torch. You gotta keep it accurate, like your, you know, Nathan Drake, Indiana Jones, you know, Laura Croft. And it looks like I see daylight. Yeah, and I hear some wind. So I think that's all the catacombs has to offer, which is kind of a letdown. But at the same time, it, it's a super cool POI. I mean, there honestly wasn't too much to interact with at the haunted house, anyways. But um, if you guys are familiar with our streams in the past, um, that cat was a part of my buddies Nako and my other friends. Uh, we would play drunk hide and seek or we'd play um, hide and shotgun. Uh, this would be a really cool place to do that just around the spooky haunted house. I think there's a lot of stuff, a lot of potential for a gameplay out here in this uh, corner of the map. Hey, let's keep looking out to see if we notice any more details. If you guys missed that part of the stream, basically to get in the catacombs, you go up to this little guy right here. You interact with his longsword and uh, there you are. You open the door to the catacombs it's not a ladder you just gotta hop over the edge and drop right down into uh, a spiral staircase so that is really cool they added the fog back which is uh, a lot of people were missing the fog last uh, halloween it's pretty rare but it seems like if you're in the halloween house area at night you're gonna get the fog no matter what with how they describe it i thought there would be puzzles outside of the sword i know i agree i thought it would be more in, in depth than that and then it's uh you said good place to scare your crewmates due to it being so dark in there already exactly that'd be pretty funny maybe hide in one of the body boxes that would be cool i tried to fit in one earlier but it just obscures my vision i'll probably try doing that in third person later 
yeah again nothing too crazy in detail they added over here so let's uh let's go see if we can find that blood moon i want to see what that blood moon looks like that's really cool Yeah, again, nothing too crazy out here. Just the dead birds and stuff. Can you use a spigot? You can't use a spigot, but it looks like blood comes out of it. So I guess that's new. I don't remember that. And then again, you got the uh, you got the tree with all the bodies hanging from it. It's pretty brutal. Maybe place candles at the summoning circle in the cloud comes. Maybe we could try that. We could try getting some candles together. Um, we'll come back and do that though at the end. I want to go check out the other features of the update. Um, at the beginning of the stream, if you guys go to that part while we were trying to figure out the technical difficulties, we got those aside. But um, you can see the axe, you can see the barbershop and all that other good stuff. We checked the catacombs. It's really neat. Um, I kind of did expect more. Flight is right. Judging from the odd textures, place one of the things inside. You're not supposed to get inside. Use the drone mode and there's like glitching textures. That's what I thought. Because when I tried cl uh, climbing into the, uh, into the little uh, part of the, I guess, tomb... There was, uh, it, it glitched out really hard visually, so I think there might be something else with it. So let's, uh, let's go out here so we're out of the fog, and let's look for the moon. Whoa! Oh, there's a little glitch with the fire over there with the, uh, ray tracing. That's cool. You see it all the way on the lake. That spooked me out a bit. Let's go see. I don't see the moon anywhere, guys. I do not see it. Uh, maybe next year. Maybe a nice little puzzle room. Yeah, I mean... There's also a chance that they're going to hotfix this because I've seen a lot of people have tech uh, connectivity and tech issues with it. So we'll see. Let's, uh, where the hell is the moon? I'm going to I'm gonna have to go find the moon. I want to see this blood moon because that, that was an issue. I'll, I'll just uh, try modifying the time too and see if that helps. I need to make sure I don't get killed by a wild animal too. So let's set time to, what would be a good time to see the moon? Probably, I guess, uh, 24, it's midnight. Let's see. I'm not seeing... Whoa, what was that? Did you guys see that? What the hell? Midnight. So when you change it to midnight, something happens at the Halloween house. What the hell? What? It's like circling. What in the world? Let's go back to the Halloween house. That was cool. You guys saw that too, right? It shot like a, a flare into the into the sky. It's gone now. That was cool. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. I was not expecting that to happen. Um, I'm going to change it to 11 again. I want to see it naturally turn midnight. See if uh, anything special happens over there. That was really cool. Um, that is definitely something I was not, uh, bomby little fart. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Cataclysmic. You know what? Um, I'm not going to run all the way back there. We're going to be lazy about it. Let's just teleport back there. And then we are going to, yeah, I'm going to put the time to 23.59 and then, uh, or 22.9. And we're going to see what happens here. Because you can see like a trail of smoke kind of right there. So we're just going to stand at the gate because I don't know where that came from. That was cool, though. I think it came from the center of the catacombs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so let's uh, let's try that again. Let's try set time, and then we're going to... Or maybe we can just set time to midnight. Uh, or 23.9. All right, we're here. It usually takes eight seconds for a minute to pass in-game. Because that's the settings I have. So uh, I, something should happen in the next 80 seconds, I assume. Or roughly 80 seconds. We, You guys saw that, though. I'm not crazy, right? That was something that happened. Pretty sure it came from right here. And if not, we'll uh, keep looking around. Yeah, we saw. Okay, cool. Guess we just wait, just patiently, just relax here. Let's see, that's interesting. I am. I'm probably a lot crazy. If I'm gonna be real, Darth, I'm probably super crazy. <laughs> We're gonna be honest. Did I change it to? Yeah, maybe that didn't work. Let me let me try changing. I don't think twenty three point nine nine is a valid uh, input for the time. 
You know, what, let's just change it to 24 because it happened and we noticed it before. So let's just change it to 24. Nothing. Not seeing anything, guys. Set time 24. Let's look up into the sky. Let me drop the torch, dude. That might be making it uh, hard. Maybe I have to wait for another day to come by. That's weird. That's really weird. I could have sworn we saw something, right? Maybe you can only see it from outside of the house. Let's uh go let's go back. Let's go back really quick. And I'm gonna try it again, because that that was really cool. I wanna see if maybe there's something tied to that. Maybe it's something after you were in the combs. Maybe, but it only happened as soon as I turned the game time to midnight. So that looks cool from a distance. That looks really cool. That would make for a really neat thumbnail. Let's go get a, a screenshot of that really quick. Ah, uh, it's not a great thumbnail, though. So I'll have to come back as a drone and try that. So let's uh, let's go up the road a little bit, but not too far. And then we're gonna set the time to midnight again and see if we can get it to happen. Maybe it's just a one time. What the hell, guys? Maybe I'm still too close, or I don't know. Do you, should I just wait? Should I set it to 23 again and just, just wait it out? Let me see, 23.9 23 if that changes anything. Oh, it does work. Is it gonna happen again? Change the day and then back tonight? Maybe, yeah. Let me. We'll change it to daytime, then we'll change it back tonight and see if we can get it to trip again. Yeah, maybe I still am too close as well. So let's see. Um, let's set time to just like 9 a.m. And then we'll set time to 20 because that's what we were at before. And then we'll set it to 24. That's what we did before. And... Uh, yeah, we sent it to 24 and it instantly... Oh, there it is. There it is right there. What is that? The hell? Oh, hey, what's up, Nako? Welcome to the stream. That's crazy. That is so cool. Um, let's, uh, I'm gonna try doing it again. Yeah, it's gotta be daytime, and then you should, uh, it might be a pumpkin. It's hard to see. I think it is a pumpkin. You might be right. Or it's like this little fi meteor fireball thing. Let's go see what's up there. That wasn't the catacombs. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dumbass me. At least I didn't get an injury. Nice soft snow. Let's go check it out. And it's already disappeared again. Let's go see. It, it came from over here, and it was, uh, on this really tall tree up here. I'm gonna have to do it again because I already lost my place. Uh, so let's set it to daytime again. And then let's set it to nighttime and look up. Maybe it won't happen that we're too close again because we're in the fog. I think it only happens when you're outside the fog, guys. I could be wrong, but... Uh, that is super cool. I hear sounds coming from over here, by the way. Yeah, I hear like creaking sounds and stuff. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't know if we can repeat it again. Like like this, we're gonna have to go all the way back to daytime. It's gotta like, I think we gotta imitate the cycle. Set time to nine, set cycle, set time to 22, and then we'll set cycle time to 24. Now we'll try it again. It, it spawned up there, I'm pretty sure. It spawned over here in this corner somewhere. I mean, what do we do? Perhaps from the one of the catacombs. I think it's the head of one of the statues. Maybe, but it's not happening again. No, because it comes from all the way over here. It didn't come from the statues. It came from over here somewhere. For sure. I, I know for a fact. Because I was looking. The statues were to the right, and I saw it in the tree line. It, does, it doesn't come off the statues. 
There's got to be something to trigger it. Maybe it happens after you went to the town. You need to sacrifice Crispy. <laughs> Crispy would be down too. If you guys watched the Marauder stream last night, he was like, kill me. Helping me get a, uh, a uh, contract done. It was funny. Crispy would be so down. What Nako said. <laughs> hey, Crispy's a good kid when he wants to be. Um, I'm gonna try it again, guys. I'm really curious as to what that is, and I'm gonna. I think when I'm, I'm gonna trigger it, and then I'm gonna run up here and see where it comes from specifically. So nighttime again. We'll go to evening, and then we will go to all the way nighttime. There it is. Yeah, see, it spawns way over there. up in the trees still where to it go it's gone now oh no it's, it's still up there it spawns way over here guys i don't know it didn't spawn that far back i don't think but here it is oh it's it's a jack-o-lantern yeah it makes a sound, too. I think it's a jack lantern. That's definitely what it looks like. I'll have to like, go into drone mode. It's a hoot. That's pretty cool. I, I would have never noticed that if I didn't stop to pee. I would have never noticed this happening behind me if I didn't stop to pee. All right, that's funny. Um, And it spawned, like, over here somewhere. I don't think there's any more to it. I think it's just something cool you see in the corner over here. I, I could be wrong. Maybe there is more to it. We'll come and check that out later when uh, my wife gets off work and stuff. We can come uh, do some more investigating over here. Got some yellow snow for sure. Yeah, it's way up there still. It is really cool that they added that. I don't know. Did they? They didn't. Re they kind of added jump scares. I did it. I jump scared myself in the catacombs. I was looking closely at some uh, bodies down there. And I jumped because I was like, oh, God, like the, the puppets moved. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, it just said my wife is online, but I'm alone at home and her computer's next to me. I don't think she actually is online. That's kind of weird. Yeah, we got jump scared by a twitching puppet. And then, uh, yeah, go check out the, cata or the catacombs, Nako. They're pretty cool. I don't know. I don't think there's anything more depth. There's not more depth into that. I think it's just like it's a little gimmick thing. What time of uh, night does the moon come out? Does anybody know what kind of what time the moon comes out in Scum? I don't know off the top of my head, but I want to find this blood moon. I really do. Um, let's go. Uh... Let's go back to a more southern. Uh... Maybe you have to spawn the blood moon. I don't think your account got hacked um, because we didn't get any security notifications. So I don't know. It might just be your computer waking up because it's a, it's in sleep mode. The computer she has right now is a potato, and we we can't turn it off because if we shut it off, it blue screens when you turn it back on. But if you leave it on all the time, it won't blue screen. It's it's a piece of shit. Devil time or witch time is at 03. Oh yeah, let's change it to three in the morning. The witching hour, right? Yeah. Cool flight. That makes sense. It does make a lot of sense. Let's uh let's go out of the fog again because that what we couldn't repeat that in the fog. Um so. Uh, and the trees are in the way too, so I kind of want to go to an area that's not like wooded. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, where should we go? I'm gonna just take us to like the A zero sector again, or uh, yeah, let's just go. Maybe not A zero. Let's go to the B two sector. Let's go by the little lake because that's one of my favorite spots in the game. And again, sorry about the, the rough start to the stream. I wasn't expecting that server to have connectivity issues like that. That's pretty cool, though. Um... The barbershop, though, is pretty cool. What did you guys think of the barbershop and that axe? That little tomahawk axe that you can throw really accurately is really cool. I think it's awesome. Um... Okay, now it's dark as hell. You can see the sky a lot more clear. Uh, and then we'll change it to what you said, 3 a.m.? Right, uh, flight. All right, let me catch my breath really quick while I uh, set the time, and then we'll look around. Set time three. 
I think it's funny that they took birds out of the game, but they didn't take like bird sounds out of the game. So you randomly hear the birds calling and stuff. I just think it's funny. Maybe there's a specific weather parameter you need to have as well in order to see it. The axe is super quick and fairly good damage. Yeah, exactly. Just when I was swinging around, that's what I noticed. And I have pretty high, um, not on this character, but on my main character on my server, I have high strength and melee. So it's going to be a lot of fun to use that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of guys, I am trying to make the server go public. So if you guys want a small private server with mostly vanilla settings, let me know in the comments if you'd like access to it. We're going to try and start um, getting the community going there and then I'll open it up to the public if we can get some Patreon supporters. Again, I don't keep, I don't pocket that money. I, I don't have no interest in doing that. But I, it would be expensive to maintain a server without um, help like that. So if you guys are interested, definitely let me know. And give me suggestions about the settings and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, we had to redo the uh, the giveaway of a copy of Scum. So if you guys don't have a copy of Scum, uh, leave uh, some messages in the chat, join the Discord, and then uh, drop a meme with uh, which chat you are a part of, which stream you're a part of, and I'll enter you in a chance to win that copy of Scum. The last guy who won just ghosted us, ghosted the community out of nowhere, and so I'm like, I can't give him his copy. So I'm like, whatever, we'll give it to you guys. Um, so let's see. I'm not seeing the moon, guys. Uh, any, if anybody else has any other ideas... Let me know. You know. What I do like is like the street lights are on now. That's kind of uh, that's actually really cool. Were they always on at night? I, I can't say I remember them being on. Oh no, they were. I'm just stupid. They were on. That's cool. Yeah, no moon. Um, there's got to be some way to activate the blood moon. Maybe we do have to complete a ritual or something. Of course, would. But don't let any luddites in. <laughs> it is very spoopy, and you know that's one of my favorite words, Nako. I always say spoopy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if the server was up right now, Nako, I'd say me and you could go explore this stuff together right now, but I would let you in, Darth. I just need to establish, um, my rule set and establish, like, a whitelist somehow, and, uh, I, I need to vet the people who are playing on it because it's also the one where I create my content for YouTube. I need to make sure people aren't trying to, you know, stream, uh, snipe and do stuff like that until I'm able to have more than one server. So let's go around till we find this Blood Moon. I know it's gotta be somewhere over here. Ah, they're not necessarily killjoys. They're just people who believe in uh, responsibly using technology, I would say. At least from my understanding on our conversation in the stream last night, that's probably what it is. I'm seeing, like, constellations, too. Like, that's new. Like, those weren't in the in the sky before, like, ever. They, they weren't. I don't care what anybody says they weren't. Maybe if, uh, let's emote, because, uh... Maybe if we do worship... We halten uns an Regeln when man uns Regeln passt. I don't know what that means. I did take four years of German, but I I don't even know if that's high German or not. It's kind of hard for me to tell because I'm so rusty. So I did the warship. There is no uh, there's no blood moon. Where the hell do we go to get the blood moon? Maybe it's only on Halloween. Maybe that's the only way you can get it. Oh snap! Forgot to say hi, Darth. It was memorized with the jack lantern. So hi, Darth. <laughs> Well, play by the rules when people let us rule. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. There's got to be a way to spawn this thing. Maybe I'll make it midnight again now that I'm far away from there. I mean, let's let's clear the weather. Or maybe we'll set... Oh, shit! Oh, my God! That's what I get for not paying attention. I'm in the city now. It's dumbass me. Scared the crap out of me. Holy God. Oh my god. I didn't hear them. I didn't hear that, guys. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god. I accidentally started recording. I pressed my hotkey to do that. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to use my ammo. I don't even care at this point. We've already uh, done a lot of that. It's going to be loud. Now I'm going to spawn a bunch more, and they're all going to start coming after me because I just fired a high-power rifle in a close proximity. So that was a dumbass decision, too. Yeah, happy Halloween. Oh, my God. Yep, see? That's, that's, I, this is just me making dumbass decision after dumbass decision. Classic. As Nako knows, if you guys ever join our server or join our squad or anything like that, it's chaos. I mean, that's the only way to describe it is chaos. You can ask Cat too. It's, it's a madhouse when we're all playing together. Oh god, yeah, this is not good. Let's uh let's leave. 
Leaving sounds like a good time. Where was I when I spawned this character in? Because I had a bicycle, and I no longer have my bicycle. And this is my solo character, too, damn it. I ruined it for the sake of the stream. That's my sugar treat. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Let's see, I need to find a window to hop into. Where's a good window? I'm running out of stamina, shit. There is a good window. I'm gonna get hit. Or not, am I not gonna get hit? What are the chances? All right, let's clear this house first before we uh, let our guard down. And then we can plan what we're gonna do next. Mm. I'm not seeing Mr. Puppet or Mrs. Puppet anywhere. So I think we're safe. Let's uh, catch our stamina really quick. I'm gonna use my night vision because it's, it's dark as hell. <laughs> That's no way to treat trick-or-treaters. Oh, I'm supposed to let them eat me? I'm supposed to like trick-or-treat? I don't have any candy, but you can eat my fucking face. <laughs> That's a mean trick. <laughs> hey, you know what? If a trick or treater started to bite my body like that, I'd probably shoot them in the face. I'm gonna be real. If I, if they're trying to cannibalize me, they're gonna get it. All right. I feel like that's not too unreasonable for me. Trick or treat. All right. I got a trick for you guys too, just to make Luddite happy. And it's just gonna attract even more puppets. They consider you a tree. I guess I am a tree, but that would be... They would assume that, like, I am a tree. I don't think I'm a tree. I don't even think I'm a snack. In fact, I feel sorry for my wife. Like, yeesh. So I don't know what the hell these guys are on if they think I'm a tree. Nice little no-scope right there. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what happens when you max out the puppets. And then, uh... Yeah. They just never end. Just never end. I just line them up, see if we can get a collateral here. Nice, I think I got three with that one or two. I don't know, it's hard to say. I love the motion so much. Oh, how was that a miss? That was like right at his face. Oh, all right, well, let's reload. Run away, we reload. <laughs> you kind of got sidetracked. I'm just trying to find the blood moon. Unless you kids can help me find the blood moon, all I got for you is some, uh, yeah, here's your treat right here. I got some little uh, freedom seeds for you. Ah! See, that's what happens. Bolt actions don't mix with large crowds of zombies sprinting at you in the dead of night. Would you die already, lady? God damn it. And then you can't reload. I'm probably going to die. I'm going to be real with you guys right now because I'm not, um, not really prepared to fight an onslaught right now. She should die pretty quick. God damn it. The skinnies have such a far reach because if you guys notice once they lock onto you, they, they like uh, slide forward. They like uh, kind of have like this heat seeking thing going on. So let me see. I'm, I'm bleeding heavily. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Do I even want to heal C2? Do I have any? I don't give a shit about that. Let's just go back to my camp really quick and wait till we see the moon. I want to see a blood moon. Maybe we have to go just go God mode at this point. I mean, God mode doesn't really give you unlimited health. It just makes it so you can instantly build stuff. I can spawn in Phoenix tiers, which I might do. Because, again, the point of the stream isn't to play the game. It's to explore the uh, things that the update added. So let's check out the rest of the stuff. Let me get back to my f my, uh, my little campsite down here. And we will explore the rest of the stream. I do love the way they make night vision look in this game, though. It does look a lot better than uh, a lot of games doing night vision. Because, like, Call of Duty night vision is stupid. It doesn't Actually, Modern Warfare, the most recent one, did a good job with night vision. But a lot of games suck at it. They really do. Um, yeah, it's just spawn Phoenix here. I know, guys, that's really cheap of me to do. But this is just a, a throwaway character that I use to make, like, special videos. So it doesn't even matter. It's not even the same character I used to do my streaming. All right, so uh, pho Phonix tears. Because they spelled Phonix. I don't care what anybody says. That's Phonix. That's not Phoenix. It's Phonix. Still no moon, though. Unless I go first person, maybe. Maybe you can see higher up. Can you see a red moon with green MVGs? No, I just, but the point is, I don't see a moon at all, Mr. Darth. There is no moon. Maybe it's low on the horizon. Maybe I should get into a plane and fly, uh, fly around if I could see it better. Let me know if I should do that. Because I, I want to find this damn thing. Can you see a moon with a green MVG? No, you can't. You cannot. Generation 3 NVGs are actually super cool. You can see color, so that's awesome. But, uh... I've never had the privilege of using them. 
turn off any NVGs for a second. I'm curious. Oh, you're talking about like maybe it won't render in if you're wearing NVGs? Maybe. I don't know. So I turned them off. I'm still not seeing anything. I do hear a puppet over there somewhere though. So you got to be careful. Yeah, I'm not seeing a moon anywhere, guys. So I'm probably going to have to go to a higher elevation and look around for it. I want to find this damn blood moon. And I want to see some fog in game because... uh Last uh, Halloween and the Halloween before, they added fog, which was really cool. Oh, I already passed my camp. Where is it? Where's my campsite? It was right here. What the fuck? Oh, no, it's not. This is my third character. Okay, so this is the one I used to use to... Uh, way back in the day, I used to use a third character to make uh, my uh, bunker series. But I don't do that anymore. And um, I made another one to try doing that, but I was like, nah, screw it. I'll just make it using my server. Okay, so there is no thing over here. I'm going to spawn in a plane and we're going to fly around. How does that sound, guys? I think I really just want to see this this damn blood moon. Maybe we do have to spawn it in with the ritual. Maybe it will only show up uh, if we go do worship at that site. And we can turn it on. Because they said it was in there. Let, let, me, let me read the description of the blood moon really quick. It says... Um, Blood Moon. There is a new phenomenon on Scum Island. The legend says if some of the prisoners created a cult and executed some sort of ritual, any way they turned the moon red, and with some strange phenomenon started occurring on the island. Um, okay. Maybe it's just a moonless night. I don't... I mean, honestly, I haven't really paid a lot of attention on how the uh, moon cycle works in Scum. I do see constellations now. This is new, guys. These constellations and stuff were not here before. They weren't. And I'm going to say, I don't really like the way the night sky looks anymore. I thought the stars used to look way better before this update. I think they're like kind of lower quality now. They just like blue blurs, whereas before it looked like they were actual stars in the distance. So I think that's kind of a downside to the 0.75 Halloween update. I, I don't like, I think the stars look shittier. I'm not going to lie. I really do think they look stupid. All right, whatever. Let's just spawn in this um, a plane and let's go look around. Uh, what is it? It's the King Lit Scout, right? Or Spawn. Yep, there we go. King Lit Scout. And then uh, we're going to go into admin settings and we're going to turn off vehicle damage because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to deal with that right now. I just don't want to deal with that right now. Um, wait, wait, no. Apply. Damage your vehicles turned off. And we're going to fly our little plane around and look for this damn blood moon. And um, before we do this, I also need to do this because, as you guys are aware, planes are loud as shit. Maybe that's why I couldn't hear the puppet before. I already had my effects blowing really low because I fly planes a lot. That's probably why. Um, I'll turn the NVGs back on. I think we can take off right here. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh yeah, you can take off right here, no problem. Cult of the Red Moon? Yeah, maybe so. We could start Cult of the Red Moon in the server one of these days. Again, like I said, I wanted to open up the server to the public by Halloween. Like, I was hoping to do it this weekend, but we'll have to see, guys. If I get enough people that are interested, maybe. But it's 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 uh, it's expensive. It's a monthly payment. It's like a another phone line. So it's not cheap. Um, but if I do get enough support, maybe I'll just wing it. Maybe I'll just say, hey, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Alright, let's, uh... Yeah, no moon, guys. No moon. I'm not seeing one. What a shame. I wonder if... Like I said, let's, let's change the weather really quick. Uh, maybe the weather will make it spawn. Uh, I set weather to 0.2. I think that'll just make it windier, if I'm gonna be honest. Maybe make it a bit cloudy. It's hard to say. Uh, let's, let's bump it up to point three. Still nothing. It just got a lot colder. That's about it. Or more cold. I don't know the proper way to say it. I'm kind of stupid. Yeah, nothing special. Or maybe change the time day back tonight. Yeah, that worked before, didn't it? When we were looking for the pumpkin, it worked before. Let's try that again. Let's um, let's set time to 9 a.m. again. Oh shit, uh, NV. That's called um, washout. That's really bad for your NVGs. 
Um, let's go 20. And let's go back to 24 again. New moon season maybe will only happen on the ween. I could change the date on my computer to the 31st. Maybe that'll happen. I don't know. They said it was added to the game already, though. I thought they would want to, like, showcase it. Maybe you do have to do a ritual, too. Like, nobody knows. Let me, uh... I don't know. We'll investigate that later on stream with the whole crew. I don't want to spend too much time doing that right now. I want to... Let's go land this, and then I'm going to do some more investigating on stuff they added to the update. If I even can land it properly, I'm kind of I'm kind of an idiot. But yeah, welcome to the welcome to the stream, Socrates. I don't think we've seen you here before. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. I'll just land it over here at the trader in the D's. Or what? We're we're in the C's, right? Yeah, the C two trader. I'm not even lined up with the runway. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna crash, guys. Oh, come on. No, I did it! I did it! Hey, that wasn't a crash. That was not a crash. I winged it. First try. Alright? I'm special. All right, we'll just leave that here so we can take off again. All right, let's check out the rest of the update before uh, I maybe switch the stream to something else. I do have some homework I got to get done today before my wife uh, gets home so we could actually maybe do some stream later. So it can't go on for too long, if I'm going to be fair. I usually watch your videos yet at another time of day. Oh, nice. Appreciate the support, man. I'm glad you like them. Hey, if you have any suggestions or any requests, let me know, man. Um, I I'm trying to stream in the daytime more often. Um, I just don't always have the opportunity because, again, I'm a college student and um, I'm very busy during the day for the most time. Uh, for the most part, not the most time. And thanks for the sub, Abandoned Destroyer. Appreciate the support, my guy. Or, or gal. I don't know. I don't know what you are. But, uh, yeah, that, that subscription means a lot to me. I had to turn off um, my uh, notifications for a while because people were doing bad things in the stream. So I'll, I'll add those back on later. Maybe need to execute animals or people sort of ritual. Rated over 18. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. We're going to have to mess around and try it. But again, we'll do that when uh, my wife and Crispy and everybody's on for the stream. Hopefully, Nako is able to join us too because Nako is uh, he's, he's part of the crew when he when he has free time. All right, so let's check out. Let me read the rest of the patch notes. So I'm just going to be standing here talking so I don't get too bored. But um, let me read those really quick. Um, Extra emotes. We got the extra emotes. If you guys haven't seen those, I could show you guys those really quick. The barber was actually pretty cool. You can actually address your character. They added new colors, which is really awesome. The new emotes, like I said, are pretty cool. The new axe, the trainer axe, is super awesome. I, I love how Scum is integrating stuff from creators uh, that are supporting the game into their updates. I think that's super cool. I, I don't think I've ever seen that in a game before. And I think it's, uh, I don't know, it's a great way to show that you're listening and watching what the community is doing. All right, so bug fixes. Fix the bug where players cannot gain XP after reaching a specific point in advanced level. Okay, that's fair. I stopped reaching points in uh, level five for my... Uh, um, what was I advanced in? I don't even remember at this point, but there was a while ago where that was happening. Fix the issue with the trader, new item icons show wrong icons. That's true. We did notice that before. We were talking about that. Fix the bug where Chainsaw did not produce any noise towards AI. What does that mean? Any noise towards AI? Oh, like if you used it on a puppet, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe the puppets couldn't hear it. I don't, I don't know what that means, but glad they fixed it. Fix an issue where disarming traps would sometimes crash the server. That's funny. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that was a thing. Players would run in place after cutting down trees or logs. That was the thing that was there for a while. Glad they fixed that. Uh, fix the bug where you could not interact with ladders from above. That never ran into that. Squatting animation would mess with the camera. Never saw that. Bug where raincoat, rain collector the craft button you couldn't make it okay there's a lot of stuff that you can't craft with the craft button it's just kind of random echo effects on sounds you didn't get when they were there fix where riding bicycle appeal was considered less difficult what i never realized that it's always more difficult where underground ambient sounds were not applied correctly in some cases makes sense oh so that's cool there was a while ago where they added cool sounds to bunkers and stuff and then they they did something in like 0.7 or 0.6 and the bunkers didn't have like the it's good ambient sounds anymore. Maybe they fixed, like, they, it sounds the way they used to. Because I don't know if you guys remember what I'm talking about, but they used to have better sounds for sure. So I'll go try that out too. I'll go ahead and do a bunker and see how it sounds. 
Fix the bug where it's possible to cancel the chamber round animation in the AWP enabled OBM and events. You can do that in real life, though. I guess, no, you can't. You could just eject it. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Um, fix some of the items caption errors. Okay, fix the doctor NPC kept saying idle lines when operating. That's funny. Fix the bug where player model legs would do the Michael Jackson when walking forward and leaning. What? I never noticed that. That would have been funny to try out. Fix the bug where rowing the boat would cause a freeze where the PC would restart would be required. Never saw that. All right, quality of life. Opened up some port parts of Samobor City. Okay, so they said as they would optimize the game, they were going to start opening up the city more and more. That's awesome. I'm glad they're doing that. Um, so hopefully they brought back the hunting shops because honestly, the best shop in the city was not the gun shops. It was not the clothing stores. It was the hunting shops. So I, fingers crossed, they brought that back. We'll have to go check that out before I end the stream. As says players can no longer destroy items if they're not able to stand up. That's stupid. You should be able to destroy items while you're crouched or prone. Okay, so I don't like that. That's a really dumb thing they did. How is that quality of life? Um, check fuel can actually now takes the chainsaw in the hand slot at, if it is in the vicinity. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Characters will now remove items in hands when entering rest animations. All right, let's try that out really quick. Let's, uh, because you used to just hold everything like above your chest when you were laying down. Let's try it really quick. Oh, yeah, you put it away now. Okay, that makes sense. I like that because it was always kind of stupid that you're just sitting there with your pistol in your hand while you're asleep. I don't know. Uh, M82 and POSP scopes will now properly illuminate reticles at night. What about the TA31 or TA34? Like, what the hell? I love how accurate the gunplay in this game. If you guys like accurate gunplay, it's amazing. I'm actually doing a series on Scum, um, or a series in general about video games called uh, Game Guns. I talk about the history and the functionality of these guns in real life. I'm a huge gun nut. I have a company uh, for manufacturing firearms. I'm still waiting on licensing because I just moved states, so I can't really do anything with it right now. But I love that stuff, and I want to bring it into Scum too because I think you guys would enjoy it too with how in-depth it is. So let's uh, spawn an M82 scope really quick and check that out. Um, item M82, scope, scope, scope. All right, let's uh, take in the hands and let's uh, take a look. Oh yeah, it's eliminated at night. That's actually really awesome. I'm glad they did that. PSOP probably looks better because it has a better reticle, but uh, this is not bad either. I haven't tested to see if the stadia lines are accurate or not to hundreds and you know tenths of meters, but I'm, that's another video I'm about to make too. All right, it says adjusted the HS9, SF9 weapon part inventory size. Okay, that's cool. I don't really care for the HS9 or the SF9, so it doesn't really matter to me. Removed hair and makeup related options. We already talked about that. That's cool. You will now be able to buy motorbites, uh, motorbites, wow, motorboats and stand-up pedals at the C2 boat shop. Okay. I don't know why you'd want to buy one here because you're closed off in this little area. Why, why would you want to buy a boat that's landlocked? <laughs> But, all right, whatever, to each their own. They added admin commands. Okay, added a new optional location argument to destroy zombies within radius admin command. Example, destroy zombies within radius, and then you can set an X, Y, Z coordinate, and it'll destroy the zombies in that area. That's really cool. So you could actually, if players are having issues in one place or you're trying to clear out a town to do like an event or something, admins can do that now, which is super cool. We were doing events like uh, Drunk Olympics and stuff like that, which we're going to do again in the future when the crew is set back up. Hopefully Kat has her computer fixed and we can do that again because it's a ton of fun. But when we do that, it's it's pain in the ass to run into puppets. So this will come in handy for that specifically. Added the list flags command at list the ID, owner, and location of all flags on the level. Thank God. Admitting in this game is a pain in the ass. But they added that so you could find out where all that stuff is. That's a super good um, thing. I'm glad they did that. Additional information about teleports when using show other player info, show vehicle info, and teleport to command. So I assume it tells you... Um... Hold on. I need to take out my dog in a little bit. Just give me a second. Um, let's, let's try it really quick. Let me uh, show vehicle locations and truth. And let's uh, see what that says. Uh, nothing showing up here. So, Or do we have to list it properly? I don't know. That's weird. Uh, I, I guess you have to actually do the teleport for it to show up. I'm not positive. Let me uh, just teleport to my plane really quick. See what that does. And then it says, add the parameters to destroy corpses within radius command to control whether the clothes of destroyed corpses stay on the ground or get destroyed. Um, added the ability to admin drones to see player names color-coded when squatted up. 
So this can be adjusted in game settings. That's awesome. So when you're an admin and you're trying to see how players are playing and interacting with each other, it'll actually show you that. That's really cool. Vehicle. Yeah, I'm not seeing any difference with the teleporting and the mapping and stuff. So I don't know what they mean by that. It's kind of weird. It's cool that you can see this though. Um, so this is a single player character and you can see that I spawned right here. And as I've moved all the way up here from where I spawned, you literally have a perfect trail of where I've been in the game. That's cool. Um, and so everywhere I flew the plane to, low to the ground, because where did I leave off? Yeah, I kind of screwed up my solo series by doing this, but it's whatever. I could start another one. I needed to start another one anyways, because that one had a rough start. Then it says, you added the ability, or uh, excuse me, yellow worm bait can now be spawned via command. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. And they changed a shit ton of files, and most of them have to do with, uh, chunk patch. Interesting. Manifest ID change. So they changed an item ID. Which item is this? Okay, so it has something to do with anti-cheat. I don't know what they changed. They didn't tell you what it was, but they did something there. So that's cool. That's pretty much everything that the uh, that the update has to offer. It says, well, you don't have to stay. I don't have to stay. I'm probably going to head out pretty soon. But I, uh, we're going to stream more today. <laughs> It's not as crazy as like the last few Halloween updates. They added stuff that was like uh, more integral to the game, like the blood on the weapons. They changed the Halloween house up a lot, the jack lanterns and stuff. I wish it was more like that, but I, I think the catacombs were cool. I think the new animations are really cool. I think that's all a good time. So, um, yeah, let's see. Maybe they do hotfix some of the issues we're having. And uh, stay tuned for the streams coming either tonight or this weekend so you can... Uh, explore the rest of the halloween update with us and the crew for honey and hyper on our live streams don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you guys want to be entered for that chance to win that copy of scum again leave that comment join discord drop a meme with uh where uh you were involved in the chat of that stream and you'll be entered to win that copy and i appreciate all the support if you guys want to be part of the server that i want to open up very soon let me know contact me on discord and we'll work something out so i appreciate all the support from you guys you guys are awesome i'll catch you next time and peace